models for internet governance and, and in this way. Um, in the 70s, of course, uh, with the computer inquiry and so forth, the idea was to not regulate the internet. But when in regulation of the internet began, w of computer-mediated news and information, the debate was, should the internet be analogous to the press, to broadcasters, or to common carriers? Um, each of those models did not apply well to the computer-based communication systems and, and the internet per se. I think that was in the early 80s when the debate was most vigorous and it was around the introduction of video text and news online uh, and how should they be treated. Um, that debate d died off with, with the decisions globally um, uh, often to not regulate the internet, but it was not settled. And, and not regulating the internet was uh, an idea of spurring development of the internet, fostering innovation. And it was an innovation which governments thought was marginal and not, would not make much difference and will be marginalized in the future. Um, now that the internet is becoming extremely significant and central across all media, uh, governments are now moving back into this area and they do not have a model for thinking about it. And the only way that they can accept this kind of responsibility from the intermediary perspective is by making analogies to the press or broadcasters or common carriers. And, uh, and n none of those apply. So I think a, a critical role here, uh, I mean, the Internet Governance Forum has to be able to deal with what, are the, what is a new model of, of Internet regulation which is not a trying to fit the Internet into old models of media regulation, um, which are entirely inappropriate and will have a chilling effect on freedom of expression. 